Are you stressed out? Are you fearful? Due to the economic news and the pessimistic forecasts, my guest Supernatural Faith for Finances, I tell you, it's contagious. Her revelation causes even people in third world countries to prosper. Is there a supernatural dimension? A world beyond the one we know? Is there life after death? Do angels exist? Can our dreams contain messages from heaven? Can we tap into ancient secrets of the supernatural? Are healing miracles real? Sid Roth has spent over 35 years researching the strange world of the supernatural. Join Sid for this edition of It's Supernatural. Hello, Sid Roth here. Welcome to my world where it's naturally supernatural. Did you know when the Jewish people left as slaves in Egypt, there was a distinction when the judgments of God came down. And Jewish people were under a canopy of blessing and the other people, the ungodly, the curses fell upon them. Well, my guest has found that even in third world countries, when they understand the goodness of God and the favor of God, that they prosper in every area, including finances, just like the children of Israel that were slaves prospered. There was a distinction. There is going to be a distinction in your life. And my guest, Joan Hunter, learned it through experience. Uh, Joan, because I knew your parents, uh, the happy hunters, Charles and Francis, I found it so hard to comprehend uh, that uh, your mother's first marriage, uh, uh, he, he left her mm -hmm. and uh, it was a single parent and it got so bad that you have memories of your brother going to the, uh, to the dumps yeah, we would go to the grocery store. I was like, you know, three, four, five years old, and we would go to the grocery store. My brother would go and gather up the fruit that they had thrown out because it was so badly bruised. He, in turn, would gather that up, hand it to my mom, then we, in turn, would go home, and we would start eating. Mom would carve out enough that we would have a bowl of beaches. And many times, that's how, where our meals came from, was out of the garbage can. So I always, often say we were so poor, we were po, couldn't even afford the other O. Uh, and, and then things straightened out and you were doing wonderful and you're happily married and you have wonderful daughters. Uh, and then the rug was pulled out from under you the second time. Right. Your husband, uh, he even announced that he wanted to live in a gay uh, lifestyle. Shocking to Joan, he, he left, uh, but you were left almost penniless again. Right. And my, like my house payment was um, $1,100. My pay was $1,600, so my take home was $1,200. My tithe was $160. Well, you know, $1,100 and, and $160 left, you know, was more than $1,200. And it was like, well, I'm sure that she just called her parents and her parents helped you. I remember one time I reached for the phone because I just, I knew I couldn't make it. And I reached for the phone. God says, are you going to trust me? Or are you going to trust them? It's time you grew up. I put the phone down, and until my teaching came out on finances, at that point, they had no idea the problems that I had gone through during that time in my life. But because of what she went through, the revelation of God's desire for his children, there to be a distinction between them and the world. There were times when God even brought you supernatural food. It was so awesome. A lady came over and she brought me soup that she had made. I thought, oh, this is great. I love her soup. I put it in the fridge. Underneath it was a $100 bill. That was great soup. And then another time I got home from work and, and I walked out and I thought, what is this? The girls have trashed the house. What is going on? It was bags and bags and bags and bags bags and bags of groceries and a check for $150 to go buy fresh produce. Uh, you know what I love about you is your 
childlike faith. And, and you really do it. As a matter of fact, you told me, and I can picture it, that you get so excited when you write checks to ministries? I love it. I love it. I love every month writing our checks out to Messianic Vision. I love giving. And it's so neat because what God has done in my life as a result of doing that, it's absolutely phenomenal. God, first of all, God's a radical giver. I mean, He gave His only Son. You can't give any more than that, you know, any, any more radical than that. But see, I love giving. And when, when, when I was going why, through... Why, why, why do you love giving? Come on now, tell me. It's why? godlike. It's godlike. Uh, I, I, God I, loves I see to give. You, I see you getting so excited. I can picture you at home writing your check, whether it's to Messianic Vision or anywhere else, uh, and, uh, and getting so excited. As a matter of fact... And we pray over it and we send it out. According to Isaiah 55, 11, it's going to accomplish where to we send it. And it, and it just goes out with our blessing, not, oh, I'm out $77 for, you know, my partnership thing. You know, it's like, oh, there goes $77. No, what it is, is it's like, woo, go and grow, go and grow. And you know what? God honors that kind of faith, but there's another layer of favor on what jo Joan is doing. Genesis 12, 3 says, I, God, I, God, will bless those who bless the Jewish people. And for instance, there are many ministries around the world that do wonderful humanitarian work for Jewish people. There are many, many ministries around the world that have uh, Christians and Jews get together for an honoring Israel night. And do you know people that give money to those things are blessed in a, the most amazing supernatural fashion? Why? This is the set time to favor Zion. But here's my question to you. If they are blessed for humanitarian efforts to Jewish people in Israel, if they are blessed for ecumenical meetings honoring the nation of Israel, how much more if they reach Jew Jewish souls? He who wins souls, it says in Proverbs, is wise. It's the only thing you're going to take to heaven with you souls. So when you can invest in the spreading of God's kingdom, of course you get excited like Joan, like I do. I, I, I have to ask you a question, Joan. Okay. I happen to believe that you have it in your heart to get to the point where you can give away, write a check, and I can picture you doing this, for one million dollars. I have done it on paper. You know, like really? you just practice your your handwriting. One million dollars. I can picture it. Offering. It, it's it. one million dollars tithe. And this is coming. You think, well, she must make a lot of money from the ministry. No, and so people... But uh, by the way, the, you know, these are kind of tough times we're living in. Aren't you seeing the giving to your ministry going down? Absolutely not. And it's you know, I'm not, I'm not seeing the same thing. Yes. It is supernatural. Well, the Word says in Philippians 4.19, my God's going to supply all of my needs. Now, there's two avenues you can take. The Word says according to His riches and glory, but the world says according to my job. And, and see, we limit our income to our job, but God's giving incredible, witty inventions. I, I tell you what, hold that thought. You're going to be amazed. Joan's getting ideas for inventions. People that have no technical knowledge, it's being downloaded into them. I believe it's going to start being downloaded in you. Don't go away. We'll be right back. We'll be right back to It's Supernatural. Are you and your family living in fear of the future? Are you having problems paying your bills? Are you and your family facing health issues that drain your resources? Call now and get the Supernatural Financial Freedom Kit, which includes Joan Hunter's book and her two audio CD teachings. The entire kit is yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9122. Through this Supernatural Financial Freedom Kit, you will learn how to unlock your supernatural breakthrough, receive supernatural dreams about money-making inventions, learn to not just to survive, but thrive financially to help fund the greatest revival in the history of the church. God wants you free financially. 
God wants you healed body, mind, soul, spirit, and finances. Finances can grip every area of your life. Included are Joan's anointed prayers to release supernatural finances, healing, and blessings into your life. Don't miss out on getting the Supernatural Financial Freedom Kit, which includes Joan Hunter's book, Supernatural Provision, and her two audio CD teachings, End Time Economics and Financial Freedom. The entire kit is yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9122. Call or you can write to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural. Post Office Box 1918, Brunswick, Georgia 31521. Please specify offer number 9122 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. We now return to It's Supernatural. Hello, Sid Roth here with Joan Hunter. And I'm reminded of God's word that says the wealth of the wicked is stored up for the righteous. And if you know the Messiah, when God looks at you, he sees his son, Yeshua. I don't care what you're thinking in your mind. That's what the word of God says. You are righteous. Hold your head up high. I am righteous. I am clean. And as a matter of fact, speaking of this great wealth transfer that is coming, uh, Joan, God is giving you invent. Did you ever think you'd be him? Tell, tell me what God's doing with you. It is so awesome because it's like I had, I was in a hotel room. And I thought, oh man, I really wish I had something that did this. And I thought, I'll just design it. So I took it, I wrote it down on a piece of paper, took it to an engineer, it's designed, and it's in the process of being manufactured right now. We had another idea and we were like, oh, this would really be good if we could get, if we had something like this, there's nothing out on the market like that. And so now it's in production in the process right now. And I'm hoping everybody buys one between now and the next year because it will. Be, no, because you've got to write that million dollar check. check and bless <laughs> what God is doing. And that's what he's doing. He's blessing those that have been faithful with their tithes and offerings in turn to go and to be a blessing to what he's doing and the vision that God's given uh, people to fulfill. It takes millions of dollars to fulfill what God's called you to do. And, and you know, the, the technical companies and the secular companies, they're not going to be funding this in the natural. So it's going to come from Christians. And, you know, Father, let it be me. I'll write millions of dollars of uh, tithes and offering checks. Hallelujah. Joan, I love to hear stories of people that just have average type professions and get downloaded these amazing inventions. Tell me about that hairdresser. It's, I love this story. She was in a service and I had spoke about finances, financial breakthrough, etc. I prayed over everybody to get witty inventions. So she in turn goes to lunch and she comes back and as a hairdresser. She says, I'm going to invent a really neat hair coloring line that is healthy for your hair and all this kind of stuff. And I thought, great, that's awesome. Praise God. But normally he doesn't do it in your own knowledge. Like I know how to do hair color. Right. So it's, that's, that doesn't, that's more natural rather than God putting something on you that you have never done before. So what happened is that God in the nighttime gave her a vision and a dream about a piece of equipment for an ophthalmologist. She wasn't even sure how to spell ophthalmologist. <laughs> I'm wondering. Yeah, and I was like, you know. And, uh, and so here she's got this, this ophthalmologist and designed for eyes and so forth. And she says, what do I do with it? So she kind of had it drawn up a little bit more professionally than just out of a, this deep sleep. She takes it to a group of ophthalmologists. They say, this is absolutely the most incredible design I have ever seen in my entire life. Every ophthalmologist will have one of these. What we want to do before we go into manufacturing, before we go in, we want to give you an advance on this in invention. Uh, now, is it okay? You know, this I know it's really low, and they kept going, and it was like, okay, you know, give them a couple thousand dollars, it'll be good. And she says, what we want to, the lady says, we want to offer you twenty million dollars for your idea. Did, I, did you catch that? Twenty million dollars for goes, an idea. <laughs> And that's before manufacturing. For a, she couldn't even spell the word. <laughs> and so she goes like, let me pray about it. Yes, okay. <laughs> Get that $20 million. Her church has been believing God for a million. And so the church is getting $2 million and one to pay off their debt and $1 million to renovate the whole church and but, put a parking lot in. Joan, 
the principles that God, and see, this isn't just theory with Joan. This is, she, she was flat broke. She was out. And God downloaded to her supernatural principles. But the question that I always have is, okay, I can see it working in America. How would it work in a third world country? Joan, how would it work in a third world the country? first time I went to Haiti, right after the earthquake, it was horrible down there. And I spoke to 700 pastors and I told them how to pray for the sick and how to get this financial freedom. And I said, the word of God works in Haiti like it does in America. And so and we weren't gonna receive any offerings or anything. It was just our gift to Haiti to get the trauma out and to get them to go to their churches and pray for the trauma out of their congregation. And so I finished the teaching, we started praise and worship, we're getting ready to go break for lunch, and all of a sudden the pastors started running up putting money down. They were emptying their pockets and putting it on the platform. You, it, you didn't even ask for it. Not at all. I mean, we were weeping because they got the message. And as they're walking back to their seats, their cell phones were going off with jobs. Really? It is absolutely amazing. Mm. The churches are exploding. One, and we went back there again. All the pastors have jobs. Their congregations have jobs. They have more money coming in to rebuild if their church was destroyed. And like one church in four months received $25,000 over and above tithes and offerings from Haitians, not from America, but from Haitians actually adding to their tithe and offering specifically for the rebuilding. I know one of your favorite scriptures is Deuteronomy 8, 18. Would you look into the camera right now and proclaim that over the people? He has given you the power to get wealth. He has given you the power to get wealth. And in Deuteronomy 28, it says everything you put your hand to do is going to prosper. It does not say everything you put your hand to do is going to prosper, except during financial trouble, except during recession. It doesn't say that. It says everything, anytime, anywhere you put your hand to do shall prosper. And, and when you start quoting that scripture over yourself, pointing into the mirror, you're going to see incredible breakthrough in your life. And you're going to, it's going to hit your spirit eventually. When it hits your spirit, it's going to start bubbling up and bubbling up and bubbling up. And you will see a difference in your finances. You know, some of the revelation that you bring forth, I'm going to have her bring it forth when we come back. I've never even heard before. I was having dinner with a pastor the other night and I told him one of the things I learned from Joan Hunter. He said, I'm incorporating that right away. Don't go away. We're going to be right back. We'll be right back to It's Supernatural. For he himself is our peace, who has made both Jew and Gentile into one, and broke down the barrier of the dividing wall. His purpose was to create in himself, to create in himself. His purpose was to create one new man, one new man, one new man, Adin Novi Chalavik, the Adam Hadash Echad, one new man. We now return to. It's Supernatural. Hello, Sid Roth here with Joan Hunter, and I'm out, this is the kind of person I am. Joan, I would like to know what goes on in your home when you're writing checks, how do you do it, and uh, give me a few clues. Because, I mean, you're, she, she's a few months away from paying off her home. She was upset with her car in her new home. She was upset with the carpet. Uh, <laughs> and she prays, and someone gives her a new carpet. I want to know what you're doing. It's wall-to-wall -wall carpet, brand new, the <laughs> finest quality, installed, no charge. It was awesome. He just wanted to bless me. And I thought, thank you, Jesus. But you know what? God used him to represent him. And when God, God wants to bless us in every area, whatever you're believing God for, seed it. And it's like, well, you know, how much should I give? Or, you know, number one, ask God. Obedience is very, very powerful. Number two, get it lined up with the scripture. Put your money where your mouth is. You're confessing this happening in my life, that I'm going to prosper, that I'm going to be a thousand times more numerous than I am. But, so, you know, most people don't realize it. And you said it so quickly. You have to get in line with a scripture. That's where the power comes from. It's not just, oh, God, give me it. No, this is your promise, Lord. 
and I'm lining up with your promise. That's what you're saying. Yes, and obedience and alignment coming together is so powerful. And whatever God tells you to give, you need to give. If you can back it up with the scripture, that adds more power to it. And like Isaiah 55, 11, so shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth. It shall accomplish where to I send it. So at that point you go, okay, I am believing God for a new car. So I'm going to seed $55 and 11 cents. And I'm going to send. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why $55 and 11 cents? Based on Isaiah 55, 11. Oh. That it's, my seed yeah. going to go out and it's going to accomplish where to I send it. Now, you, now that is really, that is really demonstrating your faith. It she, is. Put, she writes the check out for the scripture that she's believing God for. That's, that's wonderful. It's awesome. I and mean, like when you plant and you want a cornfield, you don't go out and plant pea corn, you know, pea seed. You know, you plant corn seed for corn. And so we plant a scripture that lines up with what we're believing God for. And we're believing God for supernatural finances to pay off our house. We will seed $111. Why 111? Deuteronomy 111. You can do $1.11, $11.11, $111, $111,000, $111,000, $111,000. Whatever it is. I like that $111. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I like that one too. But the word says he's going to make you a thousand times more numerous than you are. And when you make your... And when he says he's going to make you a thousand times more numerous, that means in every area, in your ministry, in your job, in your family, it's phenomenal what's happening. And, and I have to tell you, a lot of you have backed off of giving, especially when you hear sow your seed, because many times you, you judge the minister and you, you judge their heart, which you should not be doing. But there has been a lot of greed that has been involved in this whole concept of modern day giving, but it's not greed. It's the heart of God. And if, if your motivation is expanding God's kingdom, if your motivation is right, then God's word, it's just like the rain. It will accomplish what it was sent out to do. Joan, give me an example of someone that took a scripture and what happened with them. We had a situation, a meeting uh, last, a few months ago, and she says, God, I want to get out of debt so that I can do more for you. She seated $111 on Friday night, very specifically Friday night, gave $111. She wanted to do more missions, but she just needed extra finances to do that. Saturday, Okay, Saturday, very important, she got a phone call saying that her debt of several hundred thousand dollars had been wiped out, that she no longer had a mortgage on her home. On Saturday. I love it. I, I can see you thinking of scriptures, right? Give me another scripture and what happened to the person. Oh, this is one of my favorite. Isaiah 49, 25. He who contends with me, I will contend with. Two parts here. I, and he who contends with me, anybody coming against you, you can seed like a court case or whatever, and it will be dropped. It's amazing what happens with that one. And then also it ends with, starts with, but thus says the Lord, and it ends with, and I will save your children. Hmm. Last year, God spoke to my husband and I to seed $49.25 for my four girls, his four sons, which was times eight. We did. Every single one of them have received, uh, the six of them that had jobs, all of them received raises on their jobs, promotions on their jobs. I have three sons-in-laws. They all got promotions on their jobs. Their cars were given. They had finances. I mean, all within a period of like nine months, every single one of them was astronomically blessed in the natural, but also spiritually. Are you ready to be blessed in the natural and spiritually? Joan, will you pray for supernatural provision right now? I will. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, I curse any form of the spirit of poverty and the curse of poverty in Jesus' name. And Father, I thank you for totally wiping out in their mind the poverty mentality in Jesus' name. Even though there's money in the bank, people still think that they're poor. And Father, I thank you for totally wiping that out of their memory, of their thought, that they are children of the King. And Father, that they're living on a limited income. Remove that thinking. Use wisdom. Use budgets. But Father, I thank you that with you, it is an unlimited 
uh, income in Jesus' name. I speak supernatural financial breakthrough, supernatural provision financially coming into the homes. I speak uh, scholarships coming in for college and tuition and so forth. My son, my stepson received a full ride to Harvard and, and graduated with honors from Harvard. God wants to bless you. And Father, right now, we thank you for finances showing up in bank accounts, raises on the job, witty and vengeance. We speak that forth in Jesus' name for literally a deluge of finances coming in, in Joan, Jesus' name. I want to see our people walk in the same favor you're walking under. I want to see our people walking in the same favor it's supernatural is walking under. Let me tell you why we're walking in such favor. Because we understand the spiritual law of evangelism. Here's how it works. When God wanted to reach the whole world, he picked a Jew. He went to the Jew first. When Jesus wanted to reach the whole world, he said, I go only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. It's as if he, God planted a seed with the Jew. It's as if Jesus planted a seed with the Jew to reach the whole world. When Paul, the apostle of the Gentiles, wanted to reach the whole world, what did he say in Romans 1, 16? I'm not ashamed of the gospel. It's the power of God unto salvation to everyone who believes to the Jew first. That's the secret to the unusual favor that Joan and I are walking under right now. And I pray that same favor will overtake you and the wealth of the wicked is stored up for you, the righteous. Amen. Get ready. Almost put your hands out to receive. It's God's time for your favor now. Are you and your family living in fear of the future? Are you having problems paying your bills? Are you and your family facing health issues that drain your resources? Call now and get the Supernatural Financial Freedom Kit, which includes Joan Hunter's book and her two audio CD teachings. The entire kit is yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9122. Through this Supernatural Financial Freedom Kit, you will learn how to unlock your supernatural breakthrough, receive supernatural dreams about money-making inventions, learn to not just to survive, but thrive financially to help fund the greatest revival in the history of the church. God wants you free financially. God wants you healed body, mind, soul, spirit, and finances. Finances can grip every area of your life. Included are Joan's anointed prayers to release supernatural finances, healing, and blessings into your life. Don't miss out on getting the Supernatural Financial Freedom Kit, which includes Joan Hunter's book, Supernatural Provision, and her two audio CD teachings, In Time Economics and Financial Freedom. The entire kit is yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9122. Call or you can write to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural. Post Office Box 1918, Brunswick, Georgia 31521. Please specify offer number 9122 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. Next week on It's Supernatural. My guest was actually handed a violin bow from Jesus. Now, when she plays, People are physically, emotionally, and spiritually healed.